Alright, what is up YouTube? It's your boy NC Little Boy and I had a lot of people recommend that they want to see my car and they want to know what's gonna happen and stuff like that. So before I show you guys, I have a 2003 R6. It's an automatic with a K20 A3 and I plan to <clears throat> I plan to get a wide body for it because as some people know I had a truck hit my rear quarter panel and I had to do the body work on that and I messed up a little bit so I'm about to I'm gonna redo that soon but I painted it it's a mineral gray uh from BMW it's a BMW color it's a metallic gray it's a beautiful color I don't regret it I just had to do a little bit of a job and I did that about a couple months ago and I just have a little bit of stuff to fix here and there but overall it's pretty good I like the metallic in the sun it looks beautiful in the nighttime it looks even better but from that point I have a couple of dings in my door because you know parking at fucking grocery stores and people just decide to swing their door open so I got a lot of those only on my passenger side for some reason because when i did i filled everything i filled every bump in the shit like that but you know stuff happens but yeah so i originally got it maybe i i believe a year or two ago it's an automatic so i'm gonna swap swap the training to a manual i don't know if i want to keep the a3 yet i don't know I'm probably gonna K24 swap it, but I do know I'm gonna boost it. I'm gonna go with a Precision 626 and K-Tune intake, and I wanna go 1320 headers, but I don't know yet. I don't know how well they are for the K20. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna give you guys that's a look. 2003. I only buffed the one side out because that's all I had to do. I was in a rush. In like two days after that, I had to leave for vacation. But this is it. I have a 2003 Acura RSX. It's on Cosmos rims wrapped in Achilles Sport 2s. Uh, They're 18 by 18 by 9s. I have two 15s with a 30 wall. Uh, so I can have a little bit of stretch. I'm going to go lower and get rid of the gap. I'm going to go extremely low. I have a Mugen kit front lip and the side skirts. I'm waiting to get the rear lip. I'm just trying to find one. I'm not trying to spend all that money for a, a real one, because that's just expensive. I have a Skunk 2 cat back going all the way back with a cut with a custom mid pipe, because for some reason it didn't fit, so I just got it custom. And yeah, that's the side that I got hit at. It was way worse. I'll probably show the pictures for you guys in the video. But it was worse. I got this wing. I got the mute. I got the uh, the Type S wing. I got it from a cousin. He gave it to me for free because his RSX got destroyed. He was on the highway and his hood latch opened and it just, woo. yeah. And then I'm gonna get new headlights. I'm gonna get the same ones, but I want them clear. Well, clear obviously, but I don't want the ambers and shit. I want those clear. Yeah, but my headlights are done. And this is a side that didn't buff out yet. And in the future, I am going to get three-piece rims. I want to go with work emotions. Uh, I forget what they're called. I'll probably insert a picture. But I want them in either three-piece or two-piece. And I want to go... When I get the wide body, I want to go ten in the f 10 and a half in the front and 11s in the rear well 18 obviously but 11 in the rear and 10 and a half in the front and my interior is surprisingly clean don't mind the towel because i was kind of slow this is my daily but yeah surprisingly clear i'm gonna get i want a nardi steering wheel with a quick release and then i upgraded this radio this is the touchscreen, uh, Kenwood. It's amazing. And then I redid all the door speakers with uh, some aftermarket door speakers. So, you know, the bass is really good. 
everything is really good and it just needs to be clean because I use this for work this is the only car I have at the moment and I still have the rear seats I didn't take them out I want to delete them and I want to get the roll cage I want to get a roll cage and a four point harness because I'm going to get some NRG bucket seats but yeah everything I got the pipe I use this everything this is my daily bro and then I still have to paint the uh the gems I have to paint the gems all my gems are not painted yet so I have to do that but yeah other than that after I finish buffing it it's amazing like I wish it's it's not as good in the camera the camera does no justice but I love the color bro I love it I'm in love with it but I want I also have to get this I want to get this buffed but yeah and I'm also dropped I'm dropped on Racelands right now I have to rebuild them I'm not gonna in the future I might go BC but as of now I want to I'm gonna stick with Racelands and I'm just gonna rebuild these and I'm sh I should get I should get the shocks maybe in a week or two after I order them from Raceland so it's not that bad and then I'll probably do some content on that for you guys me rebuilding the coilovers and then post that for you guys let me open this for you I'm pretty stuck. This is exactly how I bought it. Original uh, intake manifold. I'm gonna swap that. Let me put this up for you guys, give me a second. So if I do keep this A3, I'm gonna swap this to a uh, RBC manifold, the cut and ported one. And I wanna swap this, cause this is completely ass. This is, I don't even know what the guy put on here, but this is ass, bro. This filter is terrible. That is terrible. It constantly comes off. Uh, what else? I have to get a filter for this. I still can't find one. I don't know. I can't find one at all. And when I do go turbo, I'm going to get the Sidewinder manifold with the Precision 6262. And I'm, leave that in the comments. I'm kind of iffy, bro. I don't know if I want to go with a hood exit. Or I want to plumb it back into the exhaust. I am really debating. So if you guys would leave some comments down below. And also, what type of intercooler should I go with? Because I have no idea, you guys. This is my first uh, attempt at turboing a car. My dad boosted. My dad has a boosted 240 S14. So he has some stuff with that. But he has no really experience with boosting a Honda that's his Integra over there NA and then this is his S14 uh, he's currently rebuilding the motor so he has an SR he bent a rod so he's rebuilding the motor but this is it If it was running, this would be the cleanest 240 in Tampa. No lie. He's on work. He's on work emotion D9Rs. Uh, 18, 18, 18, I believe those are tens. Tens, I believe. Don't quote me. Tens in the front, ten and a half in the rear. Oh. Uh, ten and a half in the rear. Yeah. And what else? What else? What else? Hmm. Let me think, you guys. Uh, oh, and also, in the future, 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 way in the future, I want to uh, make it right-hand drive. Yeah, I've always wanted right-hand drive. That was like a dream since I was a little kid. It was a major dream. Don't look at that. That is disgusting. I'm probably going to blur that out. It's nasty. It makes me want to throw up. But yeah, this car is a good car. 
I have, mm, let me see. I believe it's almost 190, I believe. Hundred and ninety. I mean, hundred eighty nine. Hundred eighty nine thousand miles. The car. I can manage. You ain't gotta be frustrated. I know I'm one out. Ain't okay. My bad. But the car does me well. Ain't no problems. If there is a problem, it's just little problems here and there that I can fix. Usually it's because I'm scraping or something. That's some shit. This is my fault. But yeah. Ain't really nothing wrong doing me really good uh yeah but this is the display it's really live it's good so you get the radio and then obviously but you get all this shit and then you can connect it to your phone to bluetooth or you can use your wire and connect it to your iphone or whatever the hell you want to do and then it comes with those. It comes with Waze, Weblink, all this other shit, Spotify. Uh, you can adjust the audio through here. All of this shit. You can do zone control. Uh, fader, equalizer, all that, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And also, if you guys don't have Waze, y'all really need to get it. And also has a camera, but I don't have a camera on this car, so it's useless. But uh, oh, you can always you can also use the USB and have the music from your USB uploaded here. But also a uh, Waze, this app right here, it's a directional app, but it shows you where all the police are, uh, all the speed traps, all that ETC, all that stuff. So if you don't have it, you guys should really get this, especially if you have an iPhone. It tells you where all the hazards are, the best route. You can uh, skip tolls, all that kind of stuff. It's the best thing ever. But this is the camera thing. I don't have a camera right now, but uh, that's also one thing I want to so I want to get the camera for the front and the back. And I also want to get a dash camera. Because, you know, these people out here are freaking crazy. And also, my AC works. It's cool. It's not freezing cold, but it's pretty cool and everything works i am not deleting my ac i am not a typical honda person i will not be doing that my sunroof doesn't leak yeah also well i'm a you already know but i'm a body man i do paint work all that good all that good stuff i did a couple stuff for some people and it came out really nice really clear it's just that some shit happens every time I try to work on my car. It doesn't come out that good, but yeah. If you ever need some body work or paint, hit me up. You on Instagram at NSG Lowboy or Damn Junior 777. That is my business account. So if you hit me up on there, I'll be able to get back to you. But I'll probably insert some pictures for you guys of the work I've done for other people, which is really good and clear. I cut and buff, so if you need buff, I'll do that too. Just hit me up and let me know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this build. I just, essentially right now, all I've done is paint rims, coils, the wing, uh, the body kit, and also I've had to fix my VTEC because it was overheating. I had a bump, cracked my radiator. I didn't notice. I overheated my freaking VTEC cut out. It broke the seal, so you know, I had to go all the way to Acura and buy another seal. It was surprisingly not that expensive. I think it was like uh, 10, 15 bucks for a new one, so I did replace that. Uh, that was about the only thing the only thing that really major happened was my VTEC cutting out so that was a quick fix uh, hmm 
Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this part. I'll, if you guys want, comment down below and I will for sure, for sure enter back to you if you guys want to see more, if you guys want to see the progress on the RSX. If you guys want to see the progress, just let me know. And let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. Comment down below and I will make sure to get back to you guys. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good Monday. Be chill. Don't blow your cars up. And I'm also at a lot of meets. So if you guys see me, don't be afraid to say hi. I live in Florida, in Tampa. So yeah, not anywhere else, Florida. I'm a Florida boy, sadly. So hope you guys have a good day. Have a good Monday, stay safe, and don't blow your cars up.